Good morning, students. Students, this lesson is for class 7th for the subject of physics. Topic, measurement of volume, which is covered in chapter 1, physical quantities and measurement starting on page number one of your textbook titled concise physics by selena publications and is being submitted to you on 5th april 2021 now students Firstly, let us understand the meaning of physical quantities. We will study one by one all the terms since the name of the chapter was physical quantities and measurement. First, let's understand the first part that is a physical quantity. A physical quantity is a quantity which can be measured. Now children, any quantity which can be measured is known as physical quantity. Any physical quantity can be expressed as combination of two things. What are they? A numerical value and a unit. All the substances around us can be measured by using various units. For example, mass of gold. You can measure the mass of a gold. Length of cloths. That can also be measured. The quantity of a milk, again it can be measured, etc. So those quantities which can be measured is known as physical quantities. Like mass, length, all such quantities are physical quantities. Now this is the definition of a physical quantity. Again, the name of the chapter was physical quantity and measurements. So we have understood that what is a physical quantity. Now let us see the definition of measurement. Children, measurement is a process of comparison of the given unknown quantity with a fixed known quantity of the same kind called the unit. So what is measurement? Measurement is a process of comparison. It is the process of comparison of the given unknown quantity with a fixed known quantity of same kind called the unit. Now children, the magnitude of quantity, magnitude means the value of a quantity can be expressed as, the magnitude can be written as number of times the, the unit is contained in the quantity, number of times the unit contained in the quantity multiply by the unit. This thing can be understood with certain examples. My first example is, if I say mass is equal to 10 kilogram. Kg means kilogram. Mass is 10 kilogram. It means that mass of the given quantity is 10 times of 1 kilogram. Now, 
what we can say? Can I say mass is equal to 10 multiplied by 1 kg? That becomes 10 kilograms only. So we can say that mass of the given quantity is 10 times of 1 kilogram. Similarly, length is equal to 500 centimeter or 5 meter. Both are one and the same thing. What does it mean? If I want to write down in centimeter, I'll write down 500 multiply by 1 centimeter. So I can say it means that length of the given quantity is 500 times 1 centimeter. See, 500 times of 1 centimeter. Or you can say it is 5 times of 1 meter. So it means number of times the unit is contained multiplied by the unit is known as magnitude of the quantity. I hope it is clear to everyone. Now let us learn different physical quantities. You can see a table on page number two of the notes provided to you on 5th April 2021. I have written different units, length, mass, time and temperature. And I've written the definition of each quantity and the instrument used to measure such quantity and the different units of thus quantities. My first quantity for today is length. Length. So children, coming to length, let us define length. It is the distance between two points. If I want to find your length, I will find the distance between your head and your foot. So what is length? Distance between two points is known as length. And the instruments for measurement is? You can have a meter rule. Meter rule means a scale of one meter. Or then you are having measuring tape also. The unit, the standard international unit of length is meter. So this was about length. Now let us understand mass. Mass is the quantity of matter contained in the body. How much matter is contained in the body is known as mass of that body. Mass is measured using beam balances or physical balance and electrical balance. And its SI unit is mass is measured in kilograms. Students, in front of you, you can see a physical beam balance. In this beam balance, you are having two pans, left and right pan, and you put certain weights on one of the pan. And the thing whose mass you have to find, kindly put that in another pan so that you can measure the mass of the pan. In this thing, you can see there are, this is a left pan on the left side and right pan on the right hand side. We are having certain balancing screws, which we balance it to bring the two pans at same level, such the middle knob is at point zero at the center. It should be always at center if you want to balance it in uniform manner such that you can measure the weight properly. So now since it is balanced, it is at point zero, we have set the thing at zero. Now what we are doing? I have put certain material, an article or an object whose mass I have to find 
I have put it on left side. Now, how much mass is it? I'll be putting some weights from the weight box and then the measuring of the appliance will start. So this is the way a beam balance works. So you can see the weight, the weight on the lighter and right, uh, left and right pan. When it get balanced, that much amount is the mass. Yes, students. Now coming further, the next physical quantity is we will be having next physical quantity as time. Now coming to time. What is time? It is the interval of occurrence of an event. The time interval means the interval of occurrence of an event. So uh, the instrument used to measure time are pendulum clock. You must have seen a pendulum clock or a watch. Both are used to measure time. And the unit of time is seconds. Time is measured using the unit of seconds. The next physical quantity is temperature. Temperature measures the degree of hotness or coldness of an object. The instrument used is thermometer and the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. Capital K E L V I N. Kelvin. It is not degree Celsius. The SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. It's not SI unit is not degree Celsius. Rather it is Kelvin. Now children we have understood about physical quantity. We understood about measurement. Now our topic for today was measurement of volume. Now the new term here is volume. So children volume can be defined as the space occupied by an object. In fact, it can be defined as space occupied by any three dimensional object. Instead of object, you write down three dimensional object such as cube, cuboid, sphere, cone, etc. All such shapes are three dimensional. Now students, in your school, which room is bigger? Your classroom or the big basement? Now your answer must be big basement. That basement is bigger than your classroom. But why so? Children, if we say that basement of your school is bigger than your classroom, we basically mean that the volume of air, volume of air in the empty classroom is less than the air in the empty basement. That means in the basement, the air was more as compared to the classroom. Thus, the basement is more bigger since the space occupied by the air in the basement is more as compared to the space occupied by the air in your classroom. So children, we usually measure volume of liquids like milk, oil and petrol in liters. Small volumes of liquid are measured in 
milliliters that is m into l children liter is written with the capital l liter is always denoted by capital l while milliliters the word milli we will be representing it with small m milliliters means small m capital l milliliters children liquid is measured in liters and a very small quantity of liquid is measured in milliliters but the si unit of volume the standard international unit of volume is cubic meter cubic meter is basically cube of meter that means meter cube when we will be writing the unit we will be writing m raised to power 3 m raised to power 3 means meter cube now students as you have already studied the volume of a cube which is given as product of all the three dimensions what is volume of cube length into breadth into height that means the product of all the three dimensions length breadth and height so 1 cubic meter and children we know that cube means all the three sides are equal so if i want to write down 1 meter cube it basically means 1 meter length multiplied by 1 meter breadth multiplied by 1 meter height so meter 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 becomes meter cube while 1 into 1 into 1 means 1 only so 1 meter cube or 1 cubic meter 1 cubic meter is the volume of a cube with each side of 1 meter long so what is 1 meter cube or 1 cubic meter it is the volume of the cube whose side is all the sides are 1 meter long so mathematically how can we write it we can say that 1 meter cube is product of 1 meter length 1 meter breadth 1 meter height similarly a smaller unit of volume is cubic centimeter cubic centimeter and how to write down cubic centimeter it is cube of centimeter so that means centimeter raised to power 3 so 1 cubic centimeter 1 cubic centimeter it can be written as 1 cubic centimeter or 1 centimeter cube one and the same thing so 1 centimeter cube is what is it it is the volume of a cube with each side of length 1 centimeter So one centimeter cube is one centimeter length. Multiply one centimeter breadth and multiply one centimeter of height. So one centimeter cube is the volume of the cube with each side of length one centimeter. Now, children, let us find. the relation between meter cube and centimeter cube so now just see here first of all you have to see learn one statement that in 1 meter we are having 100 centimeter how many centimeter are there in 1 meter 100 centimeter and children we will be learning exponent method this year what does it mean 
I can write down 10 first of all and count the number of zeros. How many zeros are here? Two zeros. So therefore, I can write down 10 raised to power 2 centimeter. In one meter, we are having 1000 millimeter. Okay. So that means 10 raised to power. How many zeros are here? Three zeros. So 10. Write down the power of 10. Don't say ki ma'am that we will write 1 raised to power 3. No. We will be writing as powers of 10. So 10 raised to power 3 millimeter. So now let us start further. First of all, children, 1 meter, as we know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. And what was 1 meter cube? 1 meter cube is 1 meter multiply by 1 meter multiply by 1 meter. Length, breadth, height of a cube. So now let us write down, let us do conversion. So first of all is this 1 meter can be written as 100 centimeter. Multiply by, then I will convert the next meter into 100 centimeter. Multiply by third, this will become 100 centimeter. So 1 meter cube is equal to, now children, how many zeros are there? See? How many zeros I can say? 10 raised to power. How many zeros? This is multiplication. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 10 raised to power 6. And how many times centimeter is coming? It is coming thrice. Centimeter multiply by centimeter multiply by centimeter. It becomes centimeter cube. So I can say that 1 meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube. You have to learn this conversion and it is very easy if you learn the steps. Similarly, let us convert meter cube into millimeter cube also. So, 1 meter is 1000 millimeter. 1000 millimeter. This you have to learn. So, 1 meter cube means 1 meter multiply by 1 meter multiply by 1 meter. So, 1 meter means let's convert every meter into millimeter. 1 meter means 1000 millimeter multiply by this 1000 millimeter multiply by this can be further written as 1000 millimeter. So 1 meter cube is equal to count the total number of zeros here in multiplication. 3 plus 3, 6 plus 3, 9. So 10 raised to power 9 millimeter cube. This is the way you do conversions. So you can write down the conversions in your physics notebook and then you learn them. Similarly now children, moving further, conversion of other units. There are many other units also. For example, liter, milliliter, decimeter cube, millimeter cube. So children, 
these all four conversions you have to learn in one liter we are having thousand centimeter cube thousand centimeter cube means one liter so that means 10 raised to power three centimeter cube so children one thing i want to add here that right now i told you that in one liter you are having thousand centimeter cube so if i want to find one centimeter cube it will be mean it means one by thousand of a liter see in one liter there are thousands of centimeter cube that means thousand of centimeter cube will make one liter so what happens with one liter one centimeter cube what will it do it will be it will make only one by thousandth part of a liter so students here if we want to learn the concepts of exponents i can say that one liter is equal to how many units c in 1 liter i am having 10 raised to power 3 centimeter cube while here 1 centimeter cube is equal to 1 divided by 10 raised to power 3 liters now this three zeros are in denominator so students whenever the power are in denominator you can bring it in numerator but you have to change the sign in denominator there were three zeros that means in numerator you will write it as minus three this minus means the zeros were in denominator plus three means all the zeros are in numerator so in one centimeter cube 10 raised to power minus 3 liter similarly one more thing which is very easy to understand and is used in numericals also children centimeter cube and milliliter are one and the same thing one centimeter cube can be said as one milliliter also similarly if i am having five centimeter cube it can be said as five milliliter liters are used for liquids while centimeter cube and meter cubes are used for solids so third is one meter cube is equal to 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube we did today only and centimeter cube can be replaced by milliliter because they are same thing one centimeter cube is one milliliter that means 10 raised to power 6 centimeter cube is 10 raised to power 6 milliliter further we are having a unit of decimeter cube decimeter children one decimeter is 10 centimeter so you do this fourth conversion yourself one decimeter cube means length breadth and height of the cube is one decimeter in every decimeter write down 10 centimeter such that numbers of zeros are three thus one decimeter cube will be 10 raised to power three centimeter cube and 10 raised to power three centimeter cube as 
done in first point 10 raised to power 3 centimeter cube was 1 liter 1 liter means 1000 centimeter cube and 1 decimeter cube is also coming to be 1000 centimeter cube what does it mean it means that decimeter cube and liter is one and the same thing so one decimeter cube is equal to one liter that is thousand centimeter cube now students further let us see the vessels for measuring the volume of liquids the vessels used to measure volume of liquids such as water milk oil etc are measuring cylinder and measuring beaker so measuring cylinder measuring cylinder is shown in figure number 2a there is cylindrical surfaces on which marking is done and measuring beaker is shown as figure number 2b moreover you can see figure number 3 in which different measuring beakers are shown to you the diagram shown on right side such measuring beaker made up of borosilicate can be seen in your chemistry labs also while on the left side such measuring beaker of steel you must have seen with your milkman when he is pouring milk from his container to the container in which you want uh, to the milk to be stored so students with this i come to an end of this interactive session you all are required to go through the pdf and very important kindly learn the conversions given on page number four of the net notes sent to you today so thank you students and have a nice day